Hey boys and girls, we are so excited you're joining us today for Second Kids Bible Study. So I want you to run and get your Bibles as we get ready to dive in. Now let's open with the word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today that we can be here to hear your word. And we ask you to be with us the rest of the week and that we can keep your word in our hearts. In your name we pray, amen. Now let's have fun. Hey guys, and welcome to Bible Study. My name's Daniel. I'm Leanne. And we are so excited that you are joining us today as we start a brand new series called Fort Freedom. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> and so we got these little military soldiers rolling around and we got this big old gun just... <laughs> oh, no. So here's what I need for you to do. I need everybody to stand up. Like this. Just, just like this guy. Yep, stand up. And I'm going to give you some military commands and I want you to see if you can follow along with us. You ready? Ready. Okay, a tin hut. Stand at attention. About face. Turn all the way around. Like a circle? In a whole circle. In a whole circle. Mm -hmm. uh, face left. Do huh. left, left, left. Face right. All huh. the way right. Huh. Stay really still, really still. Don't move. Don't move. Eddie, soldier. Ooh. Nice. Good job. Good job, good job. I'm gonna put my guy just right there. Nice. All right. So you can go ahead and take a seat. Make sure you have your Bible because we are going to be starting in a brand new book today. And I'm so excited about our character. Let's actually turn to that book by doing Bible drill. That okay. means to see who can turn there the fastest. Okay. Your here Bible? we go. Here we go. I got my Bible. We're looking. Don't go. Don't go until I say go. I don't know where I'm going anyways. We're turning to Joshua. Oh. Don't go. Okay. I'm not going to go. Joshua chapter one. Ready? Okay. Set. Okay. Go. Oh. No, I passed it. Oh, I passed it again. I'm there, I'm no! there. Nice, good work, good oh, work. I was so almost, close. I was I was a couple chapters off. I passed it a few times. Was... You're almost there. Bam, got it, got <laughs> it. So we're going to be in the book of Joshua. And if you can guess, the character we're going to be talking about is Joshua. Mm -hmm. Now, Lynn, who was Joshua? Joshua was an important and successful military commander during Bible times. He was the leader of the Israelites. Mm. Have you known somebody in the military? I did. My dad, well, <laughs> I do. My dad was in the military, uh, but I was really young when he retired or got out of it. But my brother and sister tell me stories all the time about how they lived all around uh, the globe. Mm. And so, but I don't remember a whole lot, but yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. You have to be strong and courageous to choose to protect your country. And we are so thankful for every single person that's ever chosen to serve in the military. Yes, thank you. And what's really cool is that the Bible says that those who believe in God, who make him boss of their life, are in God's army. Wait, like like this? Yeah, like the, well, maybe They're not. green? No, I don't know if we turn green or not. I'm not green. I'm not green, so I, I, I don't think so. But uh, like a soldier, we have to be strong and courageous. And today's story talks exactly about that. And I'm super excited about diving into that. Yes, let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to start in verse one of chapter one. All right, here we go. After the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses's assistant. He said, Moses, my servant is dead. Therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people, the Israelites, across the Jordan River and into the land I am giving them. So Moses had died, and now it was Joshua's turn to lead the Israelite people. But this was a pretty big deal because Moses was the only leader the Israelite people had known since leaving Egypt. And Moses was the person that God used to free the Israelites from slavery. So this was a pretty big challenge. So Joshua, he was always there where, wherever Moses went. So he was like Moses' like right-hand man, second-in-command kind of deal. So how did Joshua learn all these things? So actually, if you go back to Exodus, it's a couple of books back in your Bible, but you don't have to flip there. Exodus chapter 33, verse 11, gives us a picture of what it looked like for Joshua to be an assistant to Moses. Verse 11 says, Inside the tent of meeting, the Lord would speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. Afterward, Moses would return to the camp, but the young man who assisted him, Joshua, son of Nun, 
would remain behind in the tent of meeting. Joshua stayed in the tent of meeting and he spent time with God. And under Moses, Joshua was one of the military commanders. So he knew that every battle that they won was a gift from God. And when Moses sent 12 spies into the promised land to see what it was like, Joshua was one of only two spies in that group that came back with confidence that God would help them win. Joshua was a strong and courageous leader because he had faith in God. So Joshua had seen a whole lot by the example of Moses. I mean, there are some pretty cool things in there that he had seen and got to witness. And so now that Joshua is in command, let's go back to Joshua 1, and we're going to pick up in verse 7 and hear what God's command to Joshua is now that he is the leader of the Israelites. So in verse 7, it says this, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instructions continually. Meditate it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And so Joshua was given a command of being strong and courageous. That's our main point. That is. I have some motions. Uh, okay. Will you, will you do them with Yeah, me? yeah, yeah. What are they? Be. Be. Strong. Strong. And. And. Courageous. Courageous. All right, let's do it together. All right, let's do it together. Be. be strong. strong and, and courageous. Um, I have a feeling that you have a pretty good, like, strong voice. I have a pretty good strong voice. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah. We're going to do it one time in our strong voice. In our strong voice. All right, here we go. Ready? Be, be strong, strong and, and courageous. courageous. <laughs> that nice. was so good. Oh, that strong voice really gets me right. <laughs> God told Joshua to be strong and courageous. And unlike a normal military soldier who would expect maybe battle plans, like to, for his strength and courage to come from battle plans and knowing what we're going to do, Joshua's strength and courage came from God and God telling him what to do. And Joshua knew that if he obeyed God's commands and if he followed God's word, then God was going to give him anything and everything that he may need. And he was going to give him that strength and courage. Mm. Yeah, Joshua knew that God would be with him because God promised to. Yes, Joshua knew who God was. You see, God sent his one and only son, Jesus, to live a perfect life on this earth and to take the punishment that me and you deserve. And he died on a cross. And the Bible says that whoever shall believe in him shall live forever with God in heaven. And if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus is Lord, we can have a relationship with God once more and we can be in God's army. And if we're in God's army, we can have strength and courage that he is going to do everything he tells us he's going to do. And he's going to be with us in anything that we face. That's so incredible. See, Joshua was strong and courageous because God was with him. He had to be strong and courageous to lead his people into battle, but he also had to be strong and courageous to follow God every day because making the right choice isn't always easy. It's not, especially when like mom tells you to clean your room, but I really want to watch TV or play my video games or play with my soy soldiers, Mm -hmm. right? It can be really hard to choose the right thing, but Joshua was able to do that because he spent time with God and he meditated on God's word. And what that means is he spent time reading the Bible and thinking about what the Bible said and praying to God about what was in the Bible and doing what the Bible says to do. So what would, uh, what would are some ways that we at home could live God's way? Yeah, so I think we can be just like Joshua. We can spend time with God. We can pray. We can read our yeah. Bibles, think about our Bibles, memorize what's in yeah. the Bible, ask questions when we don't understand what's yeah, in the Bible. Yeah, ask questions is a big one. It is a big, a big one. one. And do what the Bible says to do. But most importantly, we can be strong and courageous, not just because we know things, but because God is with us when we've made Jesus the boss of our life. And that's our main point. Be strong and courageous. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Strong voice. Strong voice. Here we go. Ready? Be Be strong strong and and courageous. courageous. Nice. (laughs) Hey, we had so much fun with y'all today. We hope y'all did as well. We'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye. 
It's time for our memory verse together. I love hiding God's word in my heart with you. We're going to do our Bible verse through two times. The first time we'll do it slower, and then the second time we'll do it at regular speed. Here we go. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Great job, let's do it one more time at regular speed. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Great job. Thank you all so much for joining us for our Second Kids Bible Study. We pray that you will continue to soak on God's Word over the next few days, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Please take this time to think through what you learned, to ask some questions to your parents, to pray to God that He would continue to use what you've learned in your life. Thank you again for joining us. We will see you next week.